Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of Bait, and today I'm playing turn-based strategy game Acorn Assault Road and Revolution. The game features a very repetitive campaign of only 25 levels, has pretty unfair initial setups, and it only gets more difficult as you go along because it gives the enemy superior numbers of units and defenses. Uh, basically, I kept playing until I reached the balance point of where it was too much, which is disturbingly early in the campaign, where I found it was uh, too difficult to uh, go past, and you can't skip any levels and see what the rest of the game is like. And frankly, I lost interest in playing it once I had to restart the same level six times. The game also has multiplayer, both... Uh, locally and online, if you're into that sort of thing. Although there's no skirmish against the AI, where you and the AI are on equal footing. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, play a couple of the campaign ones. We'll do an easier one, and then I'll show the one I got stuck on all the time. So basically what you do each turn is that you uh, pre play different units and defenses onto the field of battle here. There are certain areas that you cannot place things on. So you can see just out of the gate they already have three units and three defenses and you get two defenses and one unit. Uh, which is uh, pretty crazy. So if you press the S key it shows in red the health and then the uh, attack of that particular unit. Uh, and all of their units are completely guarded by these barrels and I can't take any of them out this turn. Now these uh, things right here are kind of randomly generated. Um, I'm going to put a couple and then I'm just going to do this guy here. Uh, it's somewhat randomly generated and shuffled what you get. Uh, you can collect acorns and also you get acorns by placing similar units near each other and having them upgrade. Which allows you to increase your attack, defense, or base health for that turn. And then once you place everything it just kind of resolves it and I took out that barrel and that's all that I'm going to be able to do there. Now watch the computer go. Uh, the situation here with the unbalanced nature only gets worse. Now you do get more base health when you start out but it quickly becomes an issue of where you simply can't uh, counteract the enemy. And really whoever ends up being ahead really has an advantage in the game. Uh, it kind of snowballs very quickly so there's no real um, comebacks or anything like that uh, to keep kind of the interest going. Let's see, can I take this guy out? No, I can't. Not with one. I can get two to take that out, or I can upgrade this guy, which is actually what I think I'm going to do. So I'll grab some acorns, put some barrels in that guy's way. Now the thir when you put three adjacent ones, it upgrades to the next unit, which basically uh, has a more powerful attack. Uh, and basically just adds together all these things, so you're like, well, why would you want to upgrade? Um, the reason is it's because it gives you these acorns, which allow you to buff for that specific turn. So i got a bunch of acorns I can use here. Um, I'm also going to upgrade this, give me some sandbags. And I'm going to put the other guy here. And I'm going to just buff strength all the way here, see if I can take these guys out. There we go, took one out. And he's going to take down their base a bunch. Now there's a couple of different strategies you're going to have. You can focus on attacking their base, defending your base, defending your units. Um, but once one side gets too much of a numbers advantage, you simply can't spawn enough units to kind of counteract them. And he's really turtling those people. The AI is actually pretty good in the game and plays even better because it has this distinct uh, numbers advantage built into the way that the scenarios are. I would have been much more interested if it was kind of more balanced skirmish mode, uh, which is definitely not the case. Alright, so I got th three... Well, I sh I'm gonna do an upgrade here. This is what I shall do. So I'm just gonna place one, two, barrel, three, and I'll just put a barrel there to grab those acorns. And we'll do attack. Yeah, and you'll notice that the bullets carry through. Uh, so there's not even any strategy in like putting cheap defenses in the middle and having them absorb all the hits. Because it'll just eliminate however many points there are uh, worth its attack all the way to the back wall. So that kind of removes a potential layer of strategy there. See the AI is definitely trying to guard their units. Alright, let's see what I want to do here. 
I should be able to take this guy out. I don't even know if I really want to concentrate on that, to be honest. I get another three, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. One. Now you have to be careful about which one you place last. Because that's where the third... That's where the thing's going to spawn. When you combine them. I'm going to do... Actually, I'll do one health. And one strength. In these scenarios, the AI gets a acorn bonus at the end of each turn, which is ridiculous. Okay, I took that guy out. So now I have one... I have three uh, higher level units to their one. Took all my acorns, though. So he's going to definitely try to... And he can't move units once you place them, so they're stuck there. So he's definitely guarding against those guys. And he took them both out. So... There we go. <laughs> and that was effectively six units that I placed that he took out in one turn. Because I took three to combine to, to equal that, so... Question is, what do I want to do? I think I'm just going to do the following. I'm going to concentrate on just assaulting their base through these units. Because I have such a health advantage that that's really the only strategy that I really need to employ here. Just why it would be interesting if... Uh, the sides were more balanced. They, it is for human multiplayer, but not against the AI. And why would you build that there? And he used some of his acorns that he stole for me to replenish this base. Now, question is, can I take this out this turn? I don't know if I can. I'm going to try. Uh, nothing I can combine that with, though. So I'll just put both these guys over here. Alright. Attack! See if this is enough. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, maybe. Ugh, 15 off. So close. Uh, and there's no, like, more advanced units. <laughs> so you, you basically place all these basic units onto the battlefield, and that's it's pretty much it. And then they combined three of those to the higher one. This guy is going to totally ruin my day, because he's super powerful. As you see. I'm still trying to take him out in one turn. Alright, well, you gave me three, so that's something. Hmm. Sure. All out attack, see if I can take these guys out. Should be able to. With these two guys in the back. Okay, good. I forgot about that sandbag there. There you go, I won. Yay. Alright, let me show you the uh, truly annoying level here. That I'm perpetually stuck on. So not only do they start with four units and two barrels, but they automatically generate more defenses along this front line, and I only get two units and a barrel. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do this. Because I don't have any choice. So I'll take that barrel out and he'll take him out. And get five, yay! You know, I don't understand the reason why the deck is so stacked against you. Because it just results in really frustrating gameplay. And he, of course, gets five cards when he already has all those units to begin with. So from here, what's your strategy going to be? You're going to try to take out their units if you can? Because the problem is, 
You know, he's only five health, so you could take him out with one one of these. Okay. But these defenses are so stout. You know, what are you gonna do? So I think I'm gonna try I think I'm gonna take him out with that. I'm gonna protect him with the barrel. I'm gonna three these guys. I'm going to what do I wanna do? They only have ten attack, they can't really do anything else. I guess I'll put him back here. I guess. Yeah, we'll just do that. And I got nothing. So you need 200 acorns to do anything. And there goes my high-level unit. Alright. What the heck can I do now? Try to take these guys out, I guess. Was he 15? Get two squirrels over there, I guess. I can get some attacks. Not really sure why it does the buy a row thing. And yeah, took one of that guy out. You know, you just don't have enough cards to do everything you want to do. Especially with the AI having its start advantage. Now again, I do start out with twice the health they do, but it's not gonna matter here in a little bit, I don't think. So he's just going to keep increasing his numbers. Well, he's not trying to get my units this time. Although he could. Alright, what will it take to get rid of them? 25? So I don't have anything for that. That would take... 50. So, can't really do that either. I'd really love to morph this here, but I think we're just going to over there. And let's do this. And just put him there. I really don't want that guy there. I'd rather have him over one. So we'll do a health and a strength. Reheal a little bit. And of course the areas where they can't build defenses along the front line, they limit <laughs> how many things you can place there. So that's cool. It's got a really big defenses now. And there you go. So now I'm screwed. Because I have one unit left. This is what happens every time I play this scenario. Alright, well, the question is, can I take anything out? I can take him out with two. Which is what I'm going to have to do. And I can do a... other barrel thing. I guess for this guy, because he has attack of 60. That's all you can really do. I'm just gonna go all out attack, it doesn't really matter, so I'm gonna lose anyway. Bye guys. Alright, well let's try to protect them, I guess.
Mm, but actually look out. We'll see. I'm down to 55. So here goes, uh, now they're back up to 105. Just when you think. Alright, well. Can you even do anything with the Taka 10? Not really. Oh, look at that. I actually won. <laughs> uh, amazing. Got lucky. Well, I feel silly. Well, there you go. That's the game. Yeah, yeah. Story, whatever. Oh, sure. Two strong barriers. It's going to get even more annoying. All right. Well, that is Acorn Assault Road and Revolution. Uh, it has a very approachable turn-based strategy mindset. That said, it's pretty bland, repetitive strategy. You only have basic units. I do like combining them into more powerful units. It makes uh, placement of those units very important. And there are a couple strategies you can do, whether you want to go on attack or defense. Um, I do not like the design of the campaign, where it gives way too many advantages to the AI. It can result in very frustrating things. Like I said, it took me seven times to beat that particular campaign mission. And frankly, I got kind of tired of playing the same thing over and over again. Um, and you can't skip levels. There is multiplayer uh, against other humans, but not skirmishes against the AI where it's more fair. I do like having the randomized assortment of things at the beginning of each turn. Kind of keeps up the uncertainty. And I do like uh, using the acorns to do upgrades. But overall, the game needs more interesting units and more varied strategies to make it a turn-based strategy game of note. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.